Hello, good morning, and welcome to our second quarter for our Empowerment Technologies uh, for Senior High School Alternative Delivery Mode Module on Multimedia and ICT. So, nandito na tayo sa Module 1, and in this module, uh, pag-aaralan natin yung role of Web 2.0 in the online world and how it had affected the participation of the user in the online experience. So, dito sa past evolution of technology, yung World Wide Web is one of the most used platforms in terms of information dissemination, data gathering, and way of communication. Uh, dito magiging fam familiar kayo kung ano yung Web 2.0. Uh, you will know the rich content and collaborative features of Web 2.0 and i-assess yeah, nyo yung once experience along a range of online rich content on the basis of usability of the interface. So, how it is being used, kung paano mas ma-enrich yung kaalaman ninyo and also your experience in using the Web 2.0. So, based on what you have learned from your past lessons uh, during the first quarter, identify what is being asked in the following. So, i-rewrite nyo lang yung answer nyo sa notebook. Number one, ano yung meaning? The meaning of www. What does www stands for? Number two, the most popular video, video sharing site. So, on your own, um, opinion, ano yung, popul uh, yung popular video sharing site? Na, number three, the number one most visited website. Ano sa palagay nyo, ito yung laging binibisita online na website. Number four, the technology needed to access the online world. Ano nga ba yung mga technology na kailangan para ma-access natin yung online world? And Yung last question for what I know is, ano ba yung first version of WWW? Let's now move na sa lesson 5, which is, we have to explore the principles of interactivity and rich content in the, co in the content of Web 2.0 and the participation of the user in the online experience. So, here, what's in? Base sa inyong experience, sa inyong experience, i-rate nyo lang yung following platforms according to the simplicity, dun sa pinaka-simple, and functionality, at dun sa gamit niya. Write E if you think it is easy to use. Be E kapag madaling gamitin, and D otherwise, kung saan mahirap gamitin. Write your answer sa notebook niyo or dun sa answer sheet niyo. So, Google, is it E or D? Netflix, E or D? Wattpad, E or D? TikTok, E or D? And last, YouTube, E or D? So, what's new? Ang World Wide Web is one of the most useful tools these days. It has been a great help for the students, professionals, as well as the government. So it eases the way of spreading awareness to people acquiring information and most especially in communicating with others. Let us see the difference ngayon ng Web 1.0, 2.0, at saka 3.0. Kapag sinabi natin Web 1.0, it offers a static. The term is static web page, meaning... There are no changes happening in the page or what you see is what you get. Web 1.0 sites also aren't interactive. End users or the visitor were just there to view or watch what is being offered. Hindi niya mamomodify yung content. Lastly, it is mainly for proprietary purposes only. So, ginagamit yan ng mga businessmen or companies para i-introduce yung business nila. So, it is commonly known as the mostly read-only page. 
Next, let's proceed sa web 2.0. Uh, sites, ito naman ay dynamic pages. Meaning, uh, the contents change from time to time. It offers rich user experience because uh, the user can now modify or add the content. Another feature ng Web 2.0 is it enables media sharing more efficiently. It is also considered as user-friendly ayon because the user can easily understand kung ano yung gagawin niya at saan siya pupunta dun sa page. Ang Web 2.0 is widely read and write page. Uh, sa kabilang banda naman, ang Web 3.0 is said to be the future of the internet. Bakit na sagi yun? Because it has no concrete definition yet. But ang main goal niya is to make the, ex the internet experience easier for user. Yon. Para mas madali sa mga user ang paggamit ng internet. And that is the, the main goal of this Web 3.0. Uh, it is said to be related sa artificial intelligence or AI that can understand context rather than just keywords. Ang Web 3.0 is considered as all about data. Uh, there you have it, ang Web 1.0, 2.0, and also 3.0. So for our discussion sa Activity 1, uh, sharing your own idea about a topic based on what you have seen heard or with your own experience. So, kailangan yung sagutin ang mga sumusunod at isulat sa answer sheet ninyo. Uh, the past few months, ang one of the most talked about topics or issue uh, dito sa buong mundo ay ang COVID-19 pandemic. What helped you to be in the know about the issue? So, ano ba yung mga tumulong uh, sa'yo para malaman mo yung issue about sa COVID-19. Okay? Next question is, anong platforms? Ayan, we are talking about platforms now. What platforms did you use to keep yourself busy during the quarantine days? Oh, ano ba yung ginagamit mong platforms para maging busy ka during the quarantine days? And right now, still, we are on the modified quarantine, di ba? So, ano ba yung mga ginagamit mong platforms? Next, what's more? So, for here sa Independent Activity 1, ia-analyze na lang yung picture na nasa baba and answer the questions. Write your answer sa answer sheet ninyo. Yan, kung mapapansin nyo yung picture, so it's basically the, the Facebook interface. Ang tanong, what web 2.0 features were used in this website? Yung para sinagot ko na. Uh, satisfied ka ba? The second question is, are you satisfied with what you can do in this website? Satisfied ka ba sa gina nagagawa mo sa website na to? You explain kung bakit ka nasa satisfy in using this uh, website. So, sa independent assessment 1, so you have to analyze which of the item in column B is being described in column A. So, you write lang yung ninyo yung, yung letter ng answer ninyo sa answer sheet ninyo. So, you don't need to rewrite all those information sa answer sheet. Okay? Next, sa independent activity 2, ayan. Uh, we need a critical observation here. So look at the image below. Imagine it is a website and you have the authority to change and enhance it. Okay, so for example, you are an editor or a web developer ngayon. Uh, may, 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 may prerogative ka na baguhin at ayusin kung ano yung na, nandyan sa website na yun. So what will you do to make it more attractive interactive and useful. Pag sinabi natin attractive, yung parang meron siyang wow, wow factor. So, pag nakita mo asin talagang ma, 
ma-arrest talaga yung, yung attention mo. Okay? Parang kinakon niya yung attention mo. And maganda talaga siya, ganun. Interactive meaning to say is meron siyang participation ng user kung paano siya gumiti. And parang parang nananavigate niya, kung baga may mga actions siya na, na, na activities or nagagawin. And useful. Siyempre, yung functionality niya, nagagamit ba talaga. So, write your answer in your, in your notebook. So, kung mapapansin natin dito, all of this is, uh, y- yung website na to, lahat dyan text lang. So, in your own uh, observation, paano mo yan babaguin? What? Aning lalagay mo? Aning daragdag mo? Ano pa yung mga magagawa mo for, for this uh, website? Sa so, independent assessment to uh, read and answer the question below in 2 to 3 sentences. Dalawa hanggang tatlong pangungusap. Write your answer in your note in your answer sheet. Pag sinabing sa mga module in your notebook, since we are not using your notebook, we are using answer sheet. So, yun, I am referring with your answer sheet. What can make an online interface difficult to use? Paano nga ba yung mga online interface mahirap siyang gamitin? And number two, what can help a user to easier understand or navigate an online interface? Ah, uh, as a user, paano mas madali sa iyo na intindihan at i-navigate? So, parang i-move mo from one page to another yung online interface. Okay. Next, sa independent activity directory, ayun, the following are some of the most popular websites and applications today. So, we have the Facebook, the YouTube, the TikTok, the Mobile Legends, bang, bang. So, you have just to answer the following questions answer uh, it, them into two to three sentences so ang unang tanong which of these website applicate or application do you usually spend most of your time bakit <laughs> alin dyan yung madalas mo na ginagamit talaga what do these websites application have in common so ano yung meron sa ba- ano yung mga similarity ng bawat isa Ano yung meron sa mga website o application na yan? Next is, what makes these websites or applications different from each other? And, syempre, nakita natin yung similarity, tignan din natin yung differences nila. Okay? So, you need to distinguish. Ano yung, ano yung wala kay Facebook na meron kay YouTube? Something like that. Next, independent assessment tree. Read the sentences below. Identify if it is Web 1.0, Web 2.0, or Web 3.0. So, based on our discussion, you refer doon sa naging discussion natin for you to answer this independent assessment tree. Next, what I have learned. So, give what is asked in the question or statements below. Write your answers in your answer sheet. Ayan, what are the similarities between Web 1.0 and Web 2.0? O, oh, the similarities ang um, pagkakatul- pagkakatulad. Give three features of Web 1.0 and Web 2.0 that makes them different from each other. Ito naman sa second is, ano yung difference niya? Uh, di- how do you distinguish ang Web 1.0 and Web 2.0? And third is, what is the main purpose of the creation of Web 3.0 that Web 2.0 cannot provide to the user? Okay? Ano yung main purpose ng Web 3.0 na hindi provide ni Web 2.0? And next is, ano ba yung magagawa mo? So here, you have to draw how you want your own website should look like. Apply the different, ido drawing nyo lang, no? Ido drawing nyo lang using your chart band paper at i-attach nyo sa answer sheet. Ano ba yung magiging itsura ng website niyo, Okay? So, parang kapag sinabi kasing website, eto yung mga Facebook, yung tignan nyo yung layout nila, no? Facebook, marami eh. Kung mag-search ka sa internet, so, yun yung mga tinatawag nating website. 
So ngayon, you have to apply the different characteristic of Web 2.0. So yun, bind paper. Ito yung rubric natin for um, evaluation of your uh, output. Yung content, first criteria is the content. Uh, yung content niya, unique. So, hindi siya kinopia dun sa ibang mga layout. And may clear purpose siya kung saan siya gagamitin. So, that is 30%. Yung design and layout niya is Web 2.0 features are evident. So, balikan ninyo ano ba yung mga features ng Web 2.0 and dapat nag nakikita, nai-illustrate doon sa gagawin ninyong web page or website. So, that is 40%. User friendly, uh, yung user understands what to do and where to go when he visit your website. So, pag binisit ko yung website mo, uh, madali ba siyang gamitin at naiintindihan na kagad para i-navigate lahat ng nandoon? So, you have to consider this, this criteria para sa inyong uh, output. And for your assessment, you have to read the following state, statements. In your notebook or answer sheet, isulat nyo lang yung true or false. And for your additional activities, ayan, imagine you are a new online seller. And I think there are some of you na nakikita ko talaga that uh, despite the this pandemic, they resort on online selling uh, para mas ma, para kumita sila. So, if you are not, so imagine nyo lang kung online seller kayo, what platform would you choose to use to introduce your products and to gain more customers? Ano ba para mas mabenta, makilala yung produkto mo? Anong platform yung gagamitin mo? You have to explain your answer in two to three sentences. And write your answer in your notebook. And there you have it for our module one. With that, uh, again, good morning. And if you have some question, please feel free to comment below. Thank you.